You know, whatever the weather, Halloween is fun for the kids, but for dogs, it's actually considered one of the most dangerous and upsetting of times for a number of good reasons. Rejoining me this hour, Richard and Vicki Horowitz, our friends from Barkbusters, to talk about how you can keep your dog safe and calm this Halloween. And also joining us down below there is Bentley, who's a little, a little shook up about the prospect of Halloween being well, right around the corner. We tried to put his bow tie on, and he would have nothing we to do with it. We already covered in our last segment. We talked about how dogs don't like to be dressed, and not even a bow tie for Bentley. So many different aspects of this you guys to talk about. So let's talk about the first thing that's going to affect most people with dogs. What's going on inside the house, that doorbell ringing? over and over again and strangers coming to the door over and over. Yes, the, the holiday for of Halloween is really a very difficult to holiday for dogs. It's very unpredictable. There's lots of noises, screaming, fast movement, um, constantly knocking at the doors. Yeah. So you really want to be aware of the dog's stress level. And so you really want to make sure you keep your dog safe. Now, when you say that, did you mean, should you just put it in the basement for the duration? Well, or just another, get, get it out of the mix. Or another room, if you use a crate, put them in the crate. Put some music on, yeah. some background music, yeah. but keep them away from the door, okay? Because you have a lot of people coming to the door uh, with costumes. It was masks. masks. Like, now, what, to, to tell, well, get into a little doggy psychology here. What does a, a mask uh, make a dog think, so to speak? It, well, the problem with having a mask on is dogs don't often recognize their family members, even if they wear hats <laughs> or glasses. So if you're going to have your children put on costumes, yeah. they should put on the costumes on the floor, let the dog smell them, be aware of it, put the costume on their body. But don't put the mask on until they're ready to leave the house. That's because all of a sudden, the, dog, you be, the people, members of the house become strangers to the dog. Yeah. And then you don't know what your dog is going to do when he sees a stranger. And then so all those other people in masks showing up at the door. Right. Are you going to be all right, Ben? Yeah. My goodness, so, you're worked up. Yeah. You so the up. other thing that you have to be careful of with, with, um, with costumes and with the noises and the critters is that dogs get very frightened by strangers. Yeah. And so you're setting them up to make a mistake and misperceive what could happen. All right. So, and, let's, so let's talk about another option option that people can have on Halloween or not, which is to take the dog with them when they go with their children trick-or-treating. Good idea, bad idea? Um, not, not a great idea. You really need to know your dog. And if you are going to take your dog out with you on Halloween, we suggest you put them in a harness, okay, okay where you have much more secure uh, protection of your dog. But you also have to be careful of the costumes that jump out of, uh, out of a bush. For instance, somebody hiding behind a bush. They gimmick up their house. That's right. right. Exactly right. And the loud noises and things like that. Also, make sure that you have your tags on your dog's collar. Okay. In the event that he does get loose or she gets loose, at least they can identify who the dog belongs to. And another thing, if they're not microchipped, it's a probably a good time to think about that as well. You know what my takeaway from this is that what you just said, don't take the dog with you. No, you shouldn't when take the dog outside. Do and the other thing to think about, even in the house, if you have your dog in the house with you, if he runs out of the door when someone comes to your door, yeah. then it's another reason to make sure you always have a collar with his identification on him. And if you do decide to keep him out of a separate room and keep him in the room with you when you do uh, have trick-or-treaters, have them on leash. All right. Now, something that's going to be different uh, also that particular night is there's going to be all kinds of food stuffs around that the dog's not used to, specifically candy. That can be a bad mix. You know that chocolate is dangerous for your dog. Mm -hmm. Um, people say, oh my gosh, my dog got a hold of a piece of candy. Well, it also, it could be toxic, all right? It could give him a bellyache, it could get worse. Really Depending depending on the size of the dog, okay, yeah. and how much candy they ingest. Yeah. The other thing that people don't realize is the wrappers from the candy could have chocolate or some sugar on it. Right. So if the dog starts ingesting empty wrappers, they could get tangled in his in intestines. Okay, so you really have to be very careful of all that. Real, real quickly, talking about careful, there's going to be a lot of houses that have candles yep. up, either in pumpkins or just in windows. That's something worth keeping in mind. Yes, and dogs have very active little tails, and so they can knock over candles. This one right here, yeah. particularly. <laughs> they can lock, knock over jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, the other thing, they can also become a little bit, um, so you want to make sure that they're out of their reach so they can't access them. So if you do have to use a jack-o'-lantern, make sure it's high enough that the dog can't access it. Sometimes they also get startled by the bright lights of the, of the jack-o'-lantern. So if you even, whether you're using an electric one or one with candles, they should be, it should be lit up during the day when mm -hmm. the dog can adjust to seeing it. Mm -hmm. And then when, it, when it's at nighttime and it's darker, it won't get startled by the, uh, the bright lights. We're putting up on the screen some of the things we've just talked about. I, to sum up, Halloween and dogs don't go together all that well. No, it's Would very, you say that's fair to say? Absolutely right. Yeah. It's a right. fun holiday for the children. It's a fun holiday for families, but it causes a lot of anxiety and stress, and anxiety stress makes our dogs 
um, uncomfortable and yeah. apt to make mistakes. All it's right. a nightmare for dogs. How about you? You feeling better now that we spread that information? A little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a cute doggy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us, you Thank guys. Thank you.